Hi, welcome to this QuickBooks training video. Today we're going to look at when a customer is a vendor or vice versa. So it's very common for people to have someone that is a customer, someone that they're selling things to, but that person is also a vendor. That is, we're purchasing things from them. And sometimes we just want to exchange the goods and services rather than us writing a check to them and then them writing a check back to us. Well, how do you do that? In QuickBooks, there really is nothing on the menu that will let you exchange the things you sell for the things that you buy from the same person. So the first thing we need, of course, is we need them on our name list. So on my customer list here is this Allard Inc. So that's that's our customer, but they also have to be a vendor. So I also have them on the vendor list right here. Now you can't have two names, uh, or, or actually it would be one name, identical on two different lists. So you can see, to deal with that, I have added vendor in parentheses to Allard Inc. as the vendor. And then in this field, where it says print name on check as, I've put Allard Inc. So that way in the quick in QuickBooks on the screen, when I see Allard Inc. as the vendor, it will say vendor in parentheses, but whenever I print a check for them, it the, uh, the vendor in parentheses will be dropped off. Okay, so how are we going to handle this? Well, so let's, uh, let's sell Allard Inc. something. Let's say we did some work for them, and they did some printing, for us, and we want to exchange those, those two things. So I'm gonna create an invoice here for labor. I'm gonna say it's uh, $500 worth. I'm gonna save the invoice. And we bought some printing from them. So to account for that, I'm gonna enter a bill. I'm gonna use Allard Inc., the vendor, and I'm gonna use the expense account printing, and let's say the printing that we bought was $750. Okay, so I've recorded my expense, the full expense for $750. I have recorded the labor that I have done in exchange for that in QuickBooks, but how do I apply the two to each other? Because right now, I still have the open invoice. It looks like they owe me $500. It looks like oh, I owe them $700. I have created here on my chart of accounts a special account that's going to make this work. It is a bank type of account, and I have named it Clearing. Okay, so let me show you how this works. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to receive payment against that invoice for Allard. $500 payment, pays the invoice, there's our check mark. Great, I'm just gonna save and close. I'm gonna deposit that. Now I have three payments in undeposited funds waiting to be deposited. I'm not gonna include anything else with it, I just want a single payment from Allard. And then I'm going to deposit that to the clearing account. Got that? Save and close. Now, what about the bill that we owe them? I'm going to go to pay bills. I'm going to mark my bill for the printing that I bought from Allard. Now, I just gave them credit for the $500, so I don't want to show here that I've paid the full $750 bill because I, I haven't. I'm giving them a credit for $500 for the work that I did. So I changed that number to be sure it matches the payment that I just recorded in QuickBooks from them. So record the, uh, the $500. I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to change the bank account that that check will come out of 
to the clearing. Of course, there won't really be a check, but I want it to be that, that same, that clearing account that I just posted the payment to. Pay the bill. So now when I look at my customer list, Allard Inc. doesn't owe me any money. When I look at my uh, vendor list, Allard Inc., I owe them 250 because I owed them 750 in the in the first place, so I subtracted that 500 Now, the double check, the thing that you always want to watch is that this clearing account is zero. If that clearing account at some point is not zero, there's an error. Okay, it should always be zero. If I'm receiving $500 from the customer, then I'm also paying $500 on the bill. It should be exact match. And that's how you do it. Very simple, very straightforward. Hope that was helpful, and thanks for watching.